فِي بُيُوتٍ أَذِنَ اللَّهُ أَن تُرْفَعَ وَيُذْكَرَ فِيهَا اسْمُهُ يُسَبِّحُ لَهُ فِيهَا بِالْغُدُوِّ وَالْآصَالِ In this verse, Allah is highlighting to us that we need to purify and have the necessary respect for the masajid, which are the greatest houses of Allah. We need to purify the masajid from filthy and inappropriate words and actions. When a person is in a masjid, you are in a very sanctified environment. Your behavior cannot be the same as it is outside of the masjid. And how do we show respect and veneration for the masjid? Well, one is the scholars tell us, you must never enter and exit the masjid without performing some salah or the other. If it's not the time of a normal salah, then at least two units of optional prayer known as tahiyyatul masjid. And the greatest respect that we can show for a masjid is to aliven the masjid to ensure that we frequent the masjid, that we fill the masjid uh, with large numbers of congregants who are there to uh, exalt the praises of Allah and to worship Allah. The words here that are used, ghudu, meaning morning, and asal, meaning evening. Some scholars say that ghudu refers to the fajr salah, which takes place in the morning, and asal refers to all the other salahs, because the word asil in Arabic refers to that period from midday until the next morning. So to have beautiful masajid is one thing, but we need to beautify the masajid with our remembrance of Allah therein, with our frequenting the masjid for salah and by purifying the masjid and keeping it clean of any inappropriate and wrongful words or deeds.